Hello everyone, my name is Nicole Glenn. I'm a field agronomist for Bex Hybrids in the South. Behind me, I am in a cornfield that is getting near that tassel stage, but not quite there yet. So what is that next step? I think about applying those fungicides. So the ideal time to apply a fungicide is going to be at that R1 growth stage. What is R1? So R1 is going to be when that tassel is fully emerged, as well as silks present on that ear. This is going to help protect you from some of those mid to season diseases that we can see show up um, such as northern corn leaf blight or gray leaf spot or common rust. These diseases are going to start at the bottom of that canopy and work its way up. That's when it becomes a concern. If it gets near that ear leaf, so about one to two leaves away from that ear leaf is when I warrant that fungicide. Those fungicides are going to give you protection for about two to three weeks. So we have to think about those later season diseases that may come in. In 2023, we did not see a whole lot of disease, but in 2024, we definitely could. So that's why it's important that we're out scouting at least every five days to see what kind of disease pressure that we do have. So for those later season diseases, we can see southern rust come up from the south, or we can even see tar spot. You can see on the screen here that southern rust map and where it has been scouted for and where we have seen instances of southern rust. So be sure to keep an eye on that at the Crop Protection Network to see where that disease is flourishing at. So a couple of things that I like to think about when we're thinking about that fungicide application. So one is going to be multiple modes of action. So in that fungicide, I like to ideally see about three modes of action. So curative and preventative measures to help combat against that disease. Two, spraying in the morning if we're able to. I know this isn't possible for every acre, but we have actually seen in PFR a $10 an acre advantage by spraying them in the morning. So why is this? Maybe because we have cooler temperatures, those stomata are open or not, and they're not stressed, so they're able to take that fungicide right in, as well as dew present on the leaves. Coverage is key when it comes to fungicides because that's where they are going to protect. So that kind of leads me into my next one, number three, and that's going to be our gallons per acre. So I would like to have you anywhere between 15 and 20 gallons per acre to make sure we have good coverage. Lastly, to touch on fungicide response by planting date. This is a big one this year. So we have a corn crop like that's behind me um, that was early season, and then some corn crop may have just gotten in the ground a couple of weeks ago. All of these rains have allowed for a wide range of planting dates, but that's something that we don't want to neglect is our later season corn or even soybeans. In PFR data, it shows that those fungicide applications actually pay more in those later season crops than they do those early ones. So if we think about when that peak disease time is, can be when we are in grain field for both corn and soybeans. So that's why it's so important that we want to make sure that they are protected as well. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to myself or any of your BEX representatives. Thanks.